Hi everyone, uh, I'm gonna go do uh, uh, one of the Kendoku puzzles here. This is a 5x5 five five puzzle. Uh, the one I'm gonna give you in class next time. So uh, see if you can uh, follow along here and learn a couple of strategies uh, for, for solving these, okay? The one I gave you in class, the 6x6, six six, that, uh, that was pretty hard. Uh, I'm gonna post a video on that as well. But for most of you, this, uh, this is the one you wanna be focusing on. Okay, so let's go ahead and, uh, and do this one. I like to start in the cages where there's only a few options. Uh, so my options in general are uh, in general are, are one to five, okay, because it's a five by five. So if I go to the, the, the 10 multiplication box, I know that my only options are two and five, two and five. Okay, um, and, and the same thing same thing can go here, two and five, two and five, uh, three and five, three and five. Okay, so let's go ahead and fill out as much as we can here. Let's look at the nine box, uh, the nine plus box. I can have, um, I can have four, four, um, plus five plus, well, that's not gonna work. Four plus five plus one gives me 10. 4 plus 4 plus 1 can't work either because uh, because I can't repeat the 4 so uh, in the same column. So that's not going to work. So let me take those out. So my only options for this would be 3, uh, th uh, three 2, 3, and 4. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put that those options here. So 2, 3, and 4. 2, 3, and 4, 2, 3, and 4. There's no way I can have a, or maybe I can, let me double check. So if I do a 1, a 5, uh, 1, 5, uh, 3 also works. So 1, uh, 1 plus 5 plus 3 also works. So I need to put those options as well. So I'm just going to add the 1 and the 5. So basically all options work here. So it's not really that helpful but we'll put them down anyway 1 and 5 okay let's try the 2 divided by down here well the 2 divided by uh, I can only do 4 divided by 2 4 divided by 2 or 2 divided by 1 okay the 2 minus well I can go 5 minus 3 4 minus 2 and three minus one. So again, I have all the options for that box. So that's not really helpful. Let's just keep working away. So four, uh, the four multi uh, multiplication box that I can do as four times one, or two, two times two won't work. So that's the only option there. Uh, this one I can do five and two, and I can do three and four and that's the only option there the six I can do a five and a one I can do a four and a two three and three won't work okay the three minus I can go six uh, oops, six does not work six is too big five minus two five minus two uh, and then I can also do four minus one. So those are my only options there. Same thing here, so five, two, four, one. Same, uh, same options. Five, two, four, one. Five, two, four, one. How do I get one? Well, I can go five minus four, or four minus three, or three minus two, or two minus one. So all the numbers work here, so five, Four, three, two, one. Okay, now that I have everything filled out, I'm gonna go ahead and try and eliminate some options. And the way I do that is I start looking at uh, the options with the fewest choices. So the two and the five, well, I know a two and a five have to go here. Two and a five or or two and or two and a five, right? So that means that nowhere else in this in this row or column I should say. Uh, can there be a 2 or a 5? So I'm going to go ahead and eliminate 
all the twos and the five from from uh, from this column. So there's a two and a five, two and a five. Okay. Well, how did that help me out? Let's see. So if the uh, if the two and a uh, five are eliminated, well, then the only options for this is four minus uh, four minus one and four minus one. So the two and the five here can also go away cross those out and the same thing uh, can happen here okay now I can keep using uh, same thing I have a 2 and a 5 here which means I can't have a 2 and a 5 anywhere else in that row so I'm gonna go ahead and eliminate this 5 and this 2 from here okay so let's uh, Let's go ahead and see what else we can eliminate here. Uh, again, I have the 2 and the 5. Well, I can get rid of this 5 and this 2. So now, uh, well, that doesn't really help me too much, but uh, let's see if I, can, if I can use this. Okay, so now that I eliminated the, the, these options, from here, I, can, I, can, I have a similar situation with only two possible options for this cage here. So I can eliminate all the fours and the ones from that row. So I'm going to do the same thing again. So the fours and the ones. So here's a four. And here's a one. Here's a four. And here's a one. So I'm going to eliminate those. And, and what I'm going to do is, uh, well, now that I have the five and the two here, well, five plus one works. And two plus four work, but five here it can be eliminated because the one is gone and the 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 two can be eliminated because the four is gone okay yeah, let's look at the same strategy for this four and one that are now available here and I'm going to eliminate all the fours and ones in this row as well and when I do that you can see that I'm only left with a three over here so I'm going to go ahead and and uh, and put in my th uh, three in black color here because that is for sure going to be a three okay now I can eliminate this three this three this three and what are my options here so three plus two gives me five plus five that works but I can get rid of this one over here because three plus one is four. Uh, three, oh no, that, that that that's okay as well. So let's uh, let's keep that. But I can let me check this four down here. So three plus four is seven, and I would need uh, a two. Well, that's okay as well. Let's try this two here. Three plus two. Okay, there it is. I can get rid of this two because three plus two is five, and because I got rid of the four. Uh, I can't add up to nine with a three and the two here, so that that two disappears as well. Uh, all the other possibilities are still okay there. Okay, now because I eliminated this uh, three over here, I can get rid of the five because five minus three is two. And now here's a little trick that you can use. If you look down this column and look at all the fives, well, there's only one option where there is a 5. So I know for sure that a 5 must go here because that's, that's my only 5 in the entire column. Well, if that's a 5, that must be a 1. And if that's a 1, I can get rid of some more choices here. Well, I can get rid of this 5. And I can put a 2 here because that's the only number left. And if I put a 2 here, 3 plus 2, this must be a 4. So let me go ahead and get rid of it. So you can kind of start to see now this whole thing cascades and everything slowly starts to fall into place. Okay, if that's a 1, this can be a 1, which makes this a 4, which makes this a 1. Okay, let's see what else we've uncovered. If this is a 5... This can be a 5, and this must be a 3, and this must be a 5.
So I'll go ahead and get rid of these. Okay, so slowly now you can kind of get this whole puzzle fairly easily. Get rid of that five, this must be a two, and this must be a five. Okay, and I got that whole row now done. Well, this has to be uh, down here, I can eliminate. Uh, I'm left with the one and four as the only possibilities to fill all the rest of the numbers in the first column. So the five is gone, the three is gone, the two is gone, and this must be a four, which this which that makes this a one, because that's the only number left in that column. This must be a four, this must be a three, have we got any other possibilities solved here? Uh, yep, this is can be a 1, and this can't be a 4 because of the 1 and the 4 here. So that's the only possible choice is a 3, which makes this be careful here because this can either be a 4 or a 2. But the 5 is gone, the 4 is gone, the 3 is gone, the 1 is gone, this must be a 2. The 1 is gone because of that 1. Okay, the only number left is a 1, which makes this a 4. And how are we doing here? Let's see, 4. I can eliminate the 4s because of the 4 over here. I can eliminate this one because of this one here. And this must be a 2. And this must be a 3. And this has to be a 1. 2 divided by 1 gives me 2. And this must be a five because it's the only one number left this must be a two and this must be a five okay so there is um there is uh, uh some strategies to use to solve these math uh kendoku puzzles so see if you can do uh, puzzle number two uh, on your own at home before friday okay thanks for watching see you next time